So the first part of the casino shuffle is the riffle. Two halves, roughly the same amount. Try to keep it as low to the tabletop as you can. Keep your pinkies on the outside so you can push the cards in. Keep your index fingers flat. That way you don't mark the cards. Pull them together. Now some people do it like this, some people do it closer. You'll figure out what works best for you. Apply pressure with your index fingers. And use your thumbs. And you just let it go. Now, using your pinkies, and not applying pressure to the top, push the cards in. Pinkies, index, pressure, thumbs, not my best shuffle, pinkies are sliding. And if at any point you need to straighten it up, you just take your thumbs on the back, index on the side, put it together, that squares them up. Thumbs behind, index in front, pinch. There is none of this, uh, I don't even know how the heck you do it, but like the, they come together like this, then they try to do this back bridging, it's nonsense. That isn't how you actually do it. When you do this, you want to try as much as possible to get no more than five cards going down in a little group. It's gonna be, I don't know that I've ever seen anybody do an absolutely perfect one-in-one -one shuffle. That's not possible. But you don't want more than five cards total. If you get groups that are consistently bigger than that, practice. I gotta practice all the time. Speed comes with practice. Okay, up next, strip or box, depending on how you, you're taught. In one hand, usually you're right, if you're right-handed, you're gonna hold about two-thirds to half the way in the cards. The other hand, your left, normally, toward the joint between, you could use your first or your thumb, but I always used my thumb and my middle strip cards off, keep it close to the surface, and you want to do it in roughly quarters. Obviously, I messed that one up. Let's try that one again. So again, box. This deck is low and parallel so people can't see cards. Put them together. If you're doing the cut, you have a backing card. Use one hand to cut the deck. That way you can't be accused of cheating or doing anything. One hand. Unless, of course, your cards are real slippery like mine are, in which case you can still do it, but you have to really One single hand. 